So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to recreate this shot from start to finish. All right, so here we are on my computer. Uh, I'm showing you guys the unedited, unedited final image. Uh, it's not actually edited. Uh, all I did was just kind of just widen the background. Uh, this is basically the original image outside of me widening the background in Adobe Photoshop. But I actually shot this with one single light. So uh, I'm gonna just let you guys know that the timestamps for this video will be in the description down below. Um, it will be organized into a variety of different sections. So uh, when I originally shot this, uh, I did make some mistakes and I'm going to specifically talk about uh, the mindset on why I made mistakes when I originally shot this. I didn't understand lighting back in these days and I made some bad purchases when it came to lighting equipment. So that will be one of the parts uh, in the timestamps below. Uh, but suffice to say, we're gonna break this video down down into four different parts. So part one right now is gonna be more introductory. Uh, what we're gonna kind of cover, part two, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, rendering um, and then kind of explain uh, the lighting setup. Part, uh, I guess section three, I will explain more so the mindset on the mistakes that I've made. And then part four uh, is just gonna be general tips and um, kind of insight on how you guys can replicate this in your own way. So uh, without further ado, let's kind of go in through the introduction. So um, we're starting here on Photography PX to uh, show you guys lighting diagrams and lighting setups from start to finish. Um, ultimately, I wanna make sure that you guys, if you're gonna shoot studio photography at home, that you're not making any mistakes, uh, that you guys have a lot of uh, tools in your arsenal. And um, part of the reason why we're gonna be doing this starting now and, and me kind of deconstructing a lot of the images I've taken and I will continue to take uh, is ultimately to help you guys when it comes to replicating these images, uh, replicating the lighting setup, understanding what you should and should not purchase based on where you live and how much space you have. Uh, there wasn't a lot of information on that when I first started, which is why we're going to cover some of the mistakes that I made uh, when I originally shot this image. But uh, so long story short, I'm going to start breaking down images uh, from start to finish, uh, poses, things of that nature. Uh, so this is going to be a full photo deconstruction. Um, I do want to say uh, I did make a lighting diagram for this, which is going to be an application called Satellite. We have not officially reviewed the application, so just, just know that I'm using the application and that download for the project file will be in the description below if you want to download the project file and you can kind of play around with the dimensions and you can download the trial for the application. Uh, but that's how I'm going to be showcasing the, the render to you guys. So this is a one light setup. You use a 60-inch uh, a uh, parabolic softbox. I'm gonna open up this. Um, okay. So I'm gonna open up this uh, basically a QuickTime render, um, just showcasing you guys, uh, showcasing to you uh, what the lighting setup would be like in my current apartment. Now, uh, when I shot this, I used to live in a different location, so these dimensions and diagrams are a little bit different from what I used to live. But my current apartment now and what this location used to be are virtually similar. 26 feet is roughly 10, 10 to 12 feet wide and uh, this is the setup. So I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, the specific settings. I'm gonna walk you through the distances. I'm gonna walk you through the lighting setup uh, step by step here. Um, so let's kind of go through and we will start uh, addressing uh, some of this. Uh, I guess I'll go back into full screen. But uh, so I'm gonna get, kind of show you guys a full walk around. Again, I will be opening this project file in Satellite, which is the application that I'm showcasing this diagram here. Uh, but this is just what it looks like visually as I walk around my entire apartment. So again, shot this at home, um, 26 feet wide, roughly about 12 feet um, in width, and eight foot ceilings. That's very important, eight foot ceilings. So you guys can see the lighting diagram here. Um, at this point, I'm gonna show you guys the exact measurements. So from the model to the light, this distance right here, I'm using a measurement tool in this application, but uh, this distance right here, four and a half feet, five feet, maybe six feet. Uh, the distance from her to the background, eight to 10 feet. Um, and then the distance from here to the V flat is about three to four feet. And it's positioned uh, in the program, it's positioned exactly 90 degrees. In real life, it's actually at 45 degree angle. Um, but the light doesn't render the reflections in that same way. So you have to uh, or basically move it differently and angle it differently. And I'm shooting at roughly about 10 feet away. From here, let's kind of cover the camera settings that I use to replicate this particular image. So F5.6, 
uh, shutter speed is 1 1 60th ISO 100. Um, now, uh, I don't have the raw image. I don't know where the raw image is, so I don't know exactly what the, the camera settings are. Um, I just remember what light that I used and how I typically use that light. Um, which we'll cover here shortly. But those are the camera settings to the best of my knowledge to get the exposure that you guys see in the original, uh, the original image that I brought up earlier. Um, at this point, I'm going to showcase some of the settings for the light. So I'm using a 60 inch or five foot parabolic umbrella. Um, if I go over here on screen, you guys would see my mouse. This right here, the inside of this umbrella, this parabolic umbrella is white textured. Uh, I don't have a silver one because the silver one is too punchy. Uh, so the inside of here is actually white. Uh, there's a black coat coating on the outside and then there's this diffusion cover um, on top of that. Um, and unfortunately with this application, you don't have diffusion covers when it comes to parabolic umbrellas. Uh, they don't exist. Um, they don't have every single modifier. They just have the more general ones that are commonly used. Uh, they don't have the the, the uh, parabolic or the um, the the diffusion material, um, but that's what I'm using. So my light is was roughly about five feet high. Um, I have eight foot ceiling. So basically, what I did is I, I jammed the light all the way up as high as I can get it. And I'm going to talk about specifically why this is an issue here shortly, but uh, that is a problem in, in, in itself. But I jammed it all the way into the ceiling um, because when you're using such a light, low, low, large uh, modifier, uh, you can't really, you, only, you can only get it so high. I have eight foot ceilings and it's six, it's five, sorry, it's five feet wide. So uh, it's a very large modifier, um, but it is about five to six feet high. And uh, again, it's about five feet away from her. And I'm using a 150 watt strobe and it's set to an output of um, 150 watts. It's maxed out. Like every time this thing goes off, it is just blasting as much light as it possibly can to get through the umbrella as it bounces back and then get through the diffusion layer and then hit the subject. Um, let's see what else I cover in here specifically. Again, I'm using a 50 millimeter lens. And then over here, you can see some of the modifiers. It's just a 59 inch, it's a 60 foot, I mean 60 inch uh, or five feet uh, parabolic umbrella. And um, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. This is the perspective from the model. So this is, if she's looking towards camera, like I'm looking at camera right now, 45 degrees uh, to her left-hand side. And then you have the, um, uh, the V flat, which I'll, I'll cover how to make V flats and where to get them at Home Depot and stuff like that. I'll, I'll cover that in another video, but uh, a V flat on this side to reflect and bounce the light back. Um, so now that we've kind of covered the, uh, the lighting setup here, um, step by step, uh, let me kind of walk you, uh, let's kind of go into section two, right? Okay. So, uh, why did I use these elements and, uh, what kind of mistakes did I make at this time? This is incredibly important. Um, I know I'm showcasing how to reconstruct or deconstruct this particular photo, uh, but I wouldn't encourage you guys actually use this lighting technique unless with the preference that you have greater than eight foot ceilings. Um, ultimately, you could use this anyways, and I probably will do a video on showcasing how to fix this if you want to use this lighting setup anyways. But when you have a five foot modifier here, well, the problem is I can only bring it, bring it in terms of height to a maximum of five or maybe six feet. So basically what that means is that the majority of the light is hitting uh, the chest and like midsection of the subject, it's not hitting their face. So inevitably what always happens is that the garments and uh, the shirts and blouses and jackets, those were always brighter than the person's face was and then their legs would always be darker. Um, that's not what I wanted. I wanted their face to be bright and then there'd be a natural fall off from the face down downwards. Um, so basically what you have to do is you have to fix that in Photoshop. And, and that's what I, I, I learned through doing this setup over and over again. Um, but why I don't recommend this is because if you only have eight foot ceilings and you're using a modifier this big, one, you can't put it high enough. And then secondly, it's also very inconvenient because it's very, very large. If you do not have the space in terms of 12 foot, uh, 11 or 12 foot in terms of width, uh, it's not going to be something that's going to work in a home studio setting. Um, now, I was seeing a lot of people doing photo deconstructions and tutorials where they were using umbrellas of this size. That's why I bought them. But uh, in terms of shooting at home, it doesn't actually make any sense. Um, now, I can I will say you could, you're welcome to use it anyways, knowing that information and you can use it. Absolutely. It's a very cheap way to do this. Uh, but no, you will need to fix your images in post production using um, some kind of dodge and burn or some, you know, some way to fix 
fix the exposure uh, and knowing that it's going to be it's going to be brighter here and darker up here. Uh, so you will need to fix that, and that's what I was doing. Um, I guess another thing where I made a mistake as well. Um, ultimately, I would say another thing I made a mistake is is that I I didn't really. Um, there's a couple things. Uh, in, in the beginning, I, I didn't realize that. Uh, the the ceiling height and the height of the light really made a difference when it comes to lighting um the light ideally you want your your light your strobe to be at face level um, or higher so that that basically as the the center of the light that hot spot is landing on the person's face um, typically a rule of thumb is that the modifier should be at chin level uh, the bottom of the modifier uh, that's kind of dependent on the modifier how big the modifier is but uh, ultimately um, I didn't know that for a very long time so uh, with this modifier again it's it's basically hitting her belly button maybe her lower than that it's not even getting anywhere close um, so I would say that's probably the biggest thing I, I made a mistake because I didn't know that. So ultimately, if I would go back and redo this, I would use a, a four foot Octobox instead in replacement of this. Um, what else do I want to kind of cover? I will, uh, let me open up this project file in Satellite as well. Uh, again, I will be doing a full uh, review on Satellite and I'll, I'll probably do a, not really a course, but I will show you guys how to use the application. Um, I'll show you guys step by step how to use the application, and um, we'll be giving out a bunch of templates and poses and a bunch of other stuff for Satellite. Uh, but this is the program Satellite version three, uh, sorry, version two, 3D. Um, it's just a free software that you can't. Well, it's not free. It's like two hundred dollars, but uh, it, you can get a you can get a trial. I have a trial version of it right now, but uh, um, and you can basically make your own studio settings. So when you guys download, if you want to download this project file, uh, this is what you're going to see. Um, you guys won't see these uh, these timeline sh uh, shots down here. You'll just see just the main image. Uh, but again, this is just kind of walking you through the uh, the dimensions, and you can see. Uh, the light is jammed up into the ceiling. You can see the distance from me to her without all the distractions when it comes to uh, my couch and my kitchen and all that stuff. It's just making, those are just there for, to, for realism. So I know when I'm looking at the program and I'm, I'm figuring out lights, okay, like she's right next to the TV stand. She's like middle of the couch. It's for me, it's mostly for me. It's not necessarily for you guys, but um, so that I know where to position people and, and position the lights accordingly. So it's just much easier. I don't have to measure things. Um, but yeah, you guys can download this, uh, this project file if you would like. Uh, that would be in the description down below. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I hope that kind of helps. Um, I guess maybe reason why I, I'm using a V-flat here, I didn't really explain that. So uh, I'm using the V-flat here because it, the light is positioned 45 degrees. Um, onto one side, so there's naturally going to be shadow on this side of, of the model, which I can actually show right now by just disabling this. Give me one second. Um, uh, this is organized in a very different way. Um, let me just cl click it and delete that. Okay, so you'll see on this side now that it's it's darker shadow compared to over here. Let me, it's, I'm waiting for it to undo but you'll see those shadows open up. I don't know if you noticed that, but yes, that's that's why I'm using the V-flat. Because if I don't have the V-flat there, then all this entire side of her body gets dark and the shadow over here gets a lot deep, deeper. Um, the V-flat is there to basically uh, soften the shadow right here and then also fill in the light on, on the model's uh, right-hand side. And uh, yeah, I'm using the 50 millimeter lens just because I want a full body shot. I didn't have enough space to shoot with an 85. That was not an option. And even now that's basically not really practical. Uh, I still use a 50 millimeter lens if I'm gonna use full body or do full body at home. Um, but yes, that uh, kind of wraps up that section. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the downloads here. I hope that you find value in all of this. Uh, I hope that this gave you a little bit of insight if you guys want to do the setup at home. Uh, let me know and uh, send me some images of, of how you guys are using this in a home studio setting. Or if you're just shooting in a regular studio, by all means, just bring the light up and this is a perfect uh, way to shoot full body with one light. It's incredibly easy. Um, but yeah, I hope all of that helped. Uh, please, I definitely encourage you guys to download the project file. Um, I definitely encourage you guys to uh, take notes of the distances that are here. Again, uh, you know, uh, this is now in meters, but yes, 2.4 meters, 1 meter, 3 meter, 1.4 meters. Um, I don't know why it's in meters right now, but uh, anyways, uh, I hope that added a lot of value to you guys. I hope this helped out. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. 
Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if I overlooked something or I missed something covered in today's video. This is Devon Lennox. You know where to find us. Photography. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs>